Namaste. I feel spontaneously to speak a little bit about a very important um, uh, contemplation that's been going on here. And that is, it seems that there's a lot of people studying, practicing spirituality with the aim of becoming uh, liberated beings. What I have found is that I see it's almost impossible for a human being to become or to find their universal being hmm? just by teaching it. It cannot be taught. It cannot be taught. We can help people to be more aware of each other, but the reflex just comes back very often to the sense of the person and the person's needs. The person is the main contributor, is the main culprit to this washing away of what has been built up. It goes back to this person. And as long as you retain the, this loyalty to personhood, which is a selfish state, don't kid yourself that you are in some universal state of consciousness. It is not. The only way I have found that one becomes truly universal is when it comes through grace, it comes through the liberation that arises from uh, the inquiry, the inquiry into the nature of oneself, and you come to see completely clear in the heart your true position as the formless consciousness to whom all these senses and mind uh, report or they play out in the presence of this uninvolved consciousness. It is only here that the universality of consciousness in its human expression begin to manifest. But by teaching, no. Many people, whether you are Buddhist or Muslim or whatever, Hindu, whatever, Christian, we see that many people are practicing and it produces a certain kind of maybe spiritual conditioning, which is very beautiful in its own way. But that mystical, universal beingness, that Christ light or Krishna consciousness or Shiva being, and that holiness, that sacredness does not come with practice. It does not come with practice. Most practices help you to become a better person, to flow better with each other and to be considerate and so on. It makes you into a better uh, devotee, a better uh, practicer, a better seeker, a better human being. But in the awakened state only does one reflect and radiate this universality. It does not come with, uh, with the most determined practice. It, one must have a meltdown in grace. You must be replaced, your personhood must be replaced by pure consciousness. And pure consciousness is not, it is not without feeling, it is not without emotion, but it is functioning in a completely different way. So I don't want to talk about it, like there's something you can emulate in that way. You must die to yourself. You must surrender everything. Don't hold anything back, because this is another trick for many seekers. You think you have, retained, you have got to a certain stage, and you start to feel comfortable with yourself. But there's still things inside that needs to perish, that needs to burn off. Uh, your personhood commitment, uh, when I say that, I don't mean that your normal tasks in life or your sense of responsibility, that can be there inside the bigger consciousness. But any kind of deep faithfulness and loyalty to your egoic identity, it will not work. It will not work. It has never worked, and it will not work. You must completely be replaced, meaning you, be, you are being replaced by you. You are being replaced replaced by the God Self, you are being replaced by the Supreme. You may think that your person is valuable, but your person has no value. It is only a dream. It is only, it is only something very 
uh, it is only an apparition. It's only apparent. But only as you come out of it, you'll see the deficiency of personhood. Reflect on this, please. Okay. Namaste.